Hey everyone, it's your girl Jen, and today I'm gonna give you the lowdown of my favorite things in October. As usual, we've got a lovely array of beauty, skincare, books, and you know, some random bits here and there. So let's get started. From the top, let's chat about beauty first. I have finally found something to replace a brow product that I've been using. Uh, normally I go for Hourglass's Arch Brow Pencil, but dude, these days, I've been reaching for Maybelline's Brow Ultra Slim Pencils. I really love the fact that the formula is really waxy. Because I have like a lot of surface area to cover for my brows, this creamy and waxy formula really simulates the look of like hair on my brows, which is nice. And I'll use two colors. I'll first go in with soft brown for the first half of my brow, and then I'll finish off the brows with deep brown. And this is for like the tails. I've been using this for like a month and a half, and they're still like, oh crap, it's still going. There's still a lot of product left. Like, look at that. Next up, I wanna talk about Pony's collaboration with MAC. She was so lovely enough to send me just the entire collection. All the products in there are bomb, but these two rose to the top for me. This is a highlighter called The Sky's the Limit, and it's in this gorgeous, pale gold, shimmery shade with micro glitter, and it just goes with any look that I do. I'm wearing it on my face right now. And a lip color that I've been loving is called One Hit. This is a really pretty neutral salmon-y shade that is a little bit on the darker side, but I find that it looks so natural and comfortable on the lips. It's in the matte mousse formula, and usually I just slap it on, but if my lips are feeling like a little extra dry and they need a little extra love, I'll just throw on a gloss over it. A lot of you guys know this by now, but I don't wash my hair every day. I would say I wash my hair maybe two to four times a week, and in between, I'm just blasting the dry shampoo. And this has been my favorite one to use these days. This is by Way, and it's their super dry shampoo. And I am so glad that they changed the fragrance smell because the one they had previously, like, Oh, like it worked really nice. There's no white residue, it absorbs the oil really well, but the smell was just like, eh, like I couldn't stand it. But this one on the other hand, smells a lot more fresh, light, it smells so good. Like I can't explain it other than it smelling like really fresh and clean. I feel like with this new fragrance, it neutralizes the scent of your hair a lot better. And every time I use this, Ben will tell me that I smell good, even when I have like day four hair. Moving on to skincare, I've been trying out skin SkinCeuticals. Like my friend Ashley raves about it. And so I got my hands on some products. Right now I'm testing out some cleansers and serums, but it's only been a week, so I didn't wanna like put it in just yet, but I will definitely report back. But one product that I have seen immediate results is the antioxidant lip repair. I've been suffering with really dry, cracked lips these days for like the past couple of months actually. I developed an allergy for acidic foods. Like, honestly, it's, it's terrible because I love tomatoes, I love hot sauce, but this is what I've been using at night. And I know it's making a difference because usually when I put on like, like a thick layer of Vaseline before I go to bed, by morning, they're just like shriveled raisins again. But with this, like they actually feel normal and it's allowing me to wear like matte lips again, which is so nice. So now let's move on to some books. I have been a voracious reader these days and I read a total of seven books this month, but I boiled it down and I picked these two. So the first book is called Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan. I felt so good to finally cross this book off my to read list because it's been with me since like middle school and I finally did it and I felt really proud. I don't know, I was a little bit robbed when I went on Goodreads and I had like a three and a half. I was like, excuse me, it deserves five stars. But I think it's because the story really resonated with me. I just love like reading about glamorous women, especially in like the olden times. Well, this, this, this was like the 1940s to 1960s. So it follows three women who are just trying to make it into showbiz. They are all friends and some are closer than others, but I feel like the main focus is pretty much Anne. She is like super innocent and way too naive, but she basically moves to New York and she's starting from the ground up, finds a job as a secretary, and she meets Neely, who is just like, a really, really talented singer. I don't know, fame really corrupts her. And then there's Jennifer, who is just this bombshell, but 
lacks any talent or so she thinks and all of them struggle with substance abuse especially the pills they call them the little dolls and uh, it's actually a very bleak and sad read and it just shows you that money and fame are not the answers to anything but it is very entertaining to read because I can only imagine like what it was like to read this in the 60s like it must have been like pretty scandalous because even when I was reading it I was like wow like they're really going there so the next book I have is a non-fiction it is called Hunger by Roxane Gay I picked this book up because I have been wanting to get down to why I feel some type of way about my body sometimes. Like I've always struggled with body image and the way I perceive my body. And so I thought I would just read some material on it. And when I first got this book, I just assumed that it was gonna be about anorexia. Like, I don't know why, but the author is actually categorized as super morbidly obese. And it's a raw, an honest look of what it's like to be that size and to live in a world that does not cater to them at all. This was one of the most powerful memoirs I read because I found myself relating to a lot of it, especially when she was talking about self-loathing. She struggles with it because something highly traumatic happened to her when she was 12 years old and you'll read the book to, to, to see what it is, but it affected her entire life and she used food as a way to comfort herself and also shield her body so that it wouldn't happen again and i found myself highlighting a lot of parts about just self-loathing and what it's like to not like yourself and she put into words of how i feel sometimes and for that i have to thank her she is definitely one of my favorite authors that i found this year and i cannot wait to read more of her material so my last favorite is a water bottle. Ben got this for me and it's been wonderful to use, let me tell you. This is by the brand Brita and so it comes with your very own little Brita filter in here. So every time you sip, you get clean filtered water, which is amazing, like technology. What is life? I love getting to travel with this because now I can just like go to the sink and fill up my water bottle and I know that it's clean and filtered. It's so lovely. And also, shout out to the person that did the color schemes for the water bottles. Like, it is very difficult to find a beautiful sea foam color like this. All right, guys, those were all my favorites for this month. As usual, please, 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 write down your favorites in the comments down below. I really get a kick out of reading them and taking your guys' suggestions. And also, I have like a little house update if anyone cares. I feel like our house is almost finished. I think we're gonna move in back in a week. So I am so excited. Like, I think this is the first time ever where contractors actually finished early. So I'm pretty happy. So this will be the last time you see me in just like random backgrounds and we'll be back at the old place. So yeah, that's my little update. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.